and we're back to Pika Labs. Let me show you another parameter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Here yeah, I have Batman and I wanted to have an ink effect in the background but not on the character. So I used minus NEG, minus negative. Didn't work at all. Here I had a monster. Negative spikes in eyes because it always gave me monsters with spikes and I wanted to have it cuter. Didn't really work out. But let me show you an example where it did work out. I use create. I click on plus one more, use image, upload this one. It's just a look through a window on a busy street, New York, rainy day, something like this. I don't want to have rain falling. Let us add cars moving. And the street, or on street. It's in New York and I use aspect ratio, so minus AR 16 by 9. It's going to be close to this one right here. Let me directly remix it. So first I'll get rid of cars moving on street. So that we only have the rain falling in the background should be a still image. And then I remix it again. And now I add minus neck for negative and then cars moving on street so that it doesn't include this car movement in the background and then we'll compare the results. Here is with cars moving, rain falling is fine, streets are fine, in the end we have something that we wouldn't want to have here. So there's a car directly driving or an element directly driving towards us. But you can see there's lots of movement in the background. Additionally to the rain falling on the window. In the next video we have cut that out. So it's only rain falling New York as a prompt. But they're still moving in the background. Not as much as with our first video but still if we wanted to have kind of like a stop effect in the background happening we wouldn't want to have that and here we specifically added the negative prompt with cars moving on street and now everything in the background is just a stop image, a still image and we have our rain falling. So in this case it worked well but as I've said it's a hit and miss in other examples it didn't work out for me at all so you have to use a lot of iterations and prompt it again but it's definitely worth trying it out. Hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.